Hello, fellow mayors. Welcome to Build It With Smith. I'm your host, Smith. And today, I will be playing City Skylines on the Nintendo Switch. As you can tell, I just bought the Nintendo Switch Lite. And I'm going to be playing City Skylines on it. We've already got the game queued up, so let's get in it. All right. So, uh, I'll let you guys know, I have played City Skylines before. And I have it on my uh, PC. Well, actually, I was going to say I have it on my Mac, iMac. And um, so I'm quite familiar with it. I'm not a super builder or anything. I mean, I watch some YouTube channels here and there. And me, myself, I probably put in a total of about 50 or 60 hours into it. And uh, you can actually check some of those videos out on this channel. Uh, the series didn't get too far off the ground, but I did enjoy my game time playing it and whatnot. And so that's why I'm back. want to give it another go. And I, I figured that the um, problem with why the series didn't go anywhere last time is because it restricted me to a computer. But with the Nintendo Switch Lite, I can now be mobile like I am with all my other games that I cover on this uh, deal. And it may make it a little easier to keep up with during the day, work, family, all that sort of stuff that goes into adulthood. But hey, we still want to play the games we enjoy, so let's try it out. Now, uh, look at something here. You have your suitable area for building. So each one of these maps has a suitable area for building. And uh, just clicking through here, you can see uh, which which of these maps might be more appealing to to us and you also want to look at the resources as well water trees ground uh, that's probably like coal and oil there at the top so we'll we'll make a selection here in just a little bit oh look at this i didn't notice this on the real game that i mean well not the real game but on the on the uh, computer version, I never noticed uh, if there's a, a coast covered in snow. Two coasts, actually. Three coasts, actually. So, uh, this will be pretty unique to use this, I think. Um, you know, uh, let's go with this one. Let's go with this map, guys. All right. Here we go. So, as you can see, I'm in my car waiting on an appointment to start and just have my Nintendo Switch Lite with me. It's quite convenient because now I'm able to uh, not only play the games that I love, but I can record them and uh, upload them to YouTube for you all, fellow mayors and citizens, to check out as well. Now, I'll be talking through this game, uh, semi-giving tips. I mean, like I said, I'm not an expert. But uh, I do like city building games, and I know that this is a good modern take on the traditional city builder. Do I want to skip the tutorial? Yes, I do. All right, so here we are. Let's take a look around. All right, so here's the areas that we have to work with. And you can zoom in or out by pressing the triggers here zooming in and out as you can tell as you zoom out further the music actually gets further away as we zoom back in the music zooms i mean the music turns back up what about that it's a pretty neat thing and you can tell that uh there's quite a lot of details in this game i can zoom in pretty much can see the evergreen trees pretty closely the mountains in the background this is a very detailed game. We even have the temperature here, 16.4 degrees Celsius. So anyway, uh, let's get let's get started. Let's not delay anymore, guys. Uh, we want to go with the roads. All right, there we go. I I will tell you, I'm not all familiar with how the uh, buttons for this thing work okay You're telling us about the roads mm-hmm 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 so 
we can pretty much figure that out what that's about uh, let's let's choose a one-lane road because we want to take this one-lane road from here and here we go yes we want to go this way the direction in which you draw the one-lane road determines uh, okay got it all right we don't want to spend too much money here so let's see right now we're at 3,000 is this a straight road looks like it let's see how far what else is going on here this will probably be good enough let's go back to 3,000 we want to be very cognizant of how much we're spending folks because uh, and another thing is pressing this trigger right here this button pressing that is going to pause and that's one thing that we want to do and I, I I was wondering why people do this but now it makes perfect sense because the game is going to start charging you maintenance and everything else road maintenance as soon as you start building in your city and uh, we're not ready for all of that now so it makes no sense to have any of that going on when we're still in the uh, planning stages of it all right so that's that road let's get another road going back this way make sure we think this would be right is this in line with the other road there we go all right so that's that we've got one road going one oops we've got one are they are these going straight or are they a little crooked looks like they might be a little crooked which that's that's okay i mean because you know this is a real life builder and you show me any road that is exactly as straight as it needs to be and then i guess you'd call me a liar man. all right so back to our two-lane road all right let's come across here and probably have to make that road connection there and then we'll continue out with this and let's see do we want to make this 90 degree turn to this or do we want to kind of come out a little bit uh, I think you might want to let's see I think you might want to on this right here all right so we're going to kind of do that and then we're going to come this way all the way to here there and I like the suggestions that it makes to you and let's see probably go back this way let's see how we're looking mm -hmm. uh, right about there See what kind of shape we have. All right, I think that's good enough. And then I'll come back around like this. No, maybe like that. And close it off. Uh, maybe like that. All right, so, all right, so let's zoom out and see what we have here. So we've drawn our first little area here, and uh, we're not trying to do anything too pretty right now. Uh, we just want to get some things going. So let's see. Let's, um... 
Let's figure out how we would do this if this were an actual area. Let's draw a road right here. Let's see. Maybe coming in at an angle, perhaps. Like that. And I know what I want to do here. I know this seems kind of like, oh, wow, this guy doesn't really have a, a purpose or any rhyme or reason to what he's doing. I do have an idea of what I want to do. So we're gonna draw this, and this is going to kind of be, let's see, how much space do we have here? We should draw this, maybe you would draw it this way. Something like that. And what we're creating here is somewhat of like a town square sort of deal. Somewhere that we can have a couple of shops for the residents. Just like that. Okay, so there's that. That's that. Okay. And I think right in the middle of that, we want to go ahead and start our neighborhood. Our neighborhood, uh, how is that going to go? I think what we'll do for that is we will have somewhat of a similar I do want this to be kind of somewhat parallel uh, okay we'll see and see the thing about the game is it's gonna fit whatever kind of uh, buildings that uh, it will allow. So I wanted to have this. Something like that. Uh, yeah. Alright, and... Is that it? make sure it's in line with okay I think that's in line there we go all right that's what we want and that's that so let's look at kind of what we have starting off now okay so we'll have some houses going around there and I'm trying to see Maybe we can put another road right here, kind of spreading off into this, this area. And maybe this will be a back entrance to the neighborhood. So you got two, two parts of entry into the neighborhood here. You got your main way coming this way, All right? We go in here, we'll have houses all around there we'll have some should be some on the outside on either side and we have that we'll have some other shops and whatnot coming along here and this will be our town square the rest of this right here is undeveloped for right now but we'll probably have another something going on here with, with some roads might be might just be something that I don't know. We'll do something with that there uh, coming up. All right. So now we need to get into, what did it say? The economical panel. All right. I know what we need to do next. We need to come here. Let's look at our monies. We're at 48,000. So we're, we're a little bit down from where we started, obviously. We've done some things. All right, so let's go ahead and plot out uh, these residential areas, uh, zones. And uh, you folks, if you have watched City Building, you should be quite familiar with what's about to happen now. We're gonna choose the uh, residential zone. 
and we want one right in here and we want one right in here that's right we'll have some houses over here and we want one yeah right there that's precisely right and probably right there right here and a little bit along the back there so this is our first residential zone this is how we want it to look uh i wonder we could probably probably put some houses over here what do you think we'll just hold off on that um now i know they're going to need places to work so without delay that's probably going to be the next thing that folks start requesting all right uh let's see do we need to do that yet so you can see there's a big demand right here for residential and uh so since they're not demanding anything else and they're probably going to be demanding power soon let's take our go ahead and unpause the game is paused and now it's unpaused and let's go ahead and see what happens we can go into our camera mode here take the ui off and just kind of see as things progress along actually one thing i do want to there you go so now we're we are increased our speed a little bit let's go back and let's just see who's going to be the first person to move in unless they start complaining about power so let's let's trace this here and see what we actually have so you have our main road that comes in one way and that is the back road that's where we're going to put uh most of our most of our uh industrial stuff all right so you come in you're on this one lane road oh folks are here folks have arrived yes all right this is our main little avenue you can go over here we're gonna have a couple of shops for you get some bread pick up some dinner whatever come in here to the neighborhood and you go left you go right making a full 360 around the neighborhood so we're gonna have some houses right off of this didn't look like looks like we didn't make the road large enough for that so but that's okay so you, we might might maybe put some commercial right up over here or something uh, a couple of shops or something but folks are here folks are here let's let's zoom in and meet some of the residents don't you love this detail guys all right so as you can see they're fitting in whatever kind of houses they can is this this may even be an outhouse right here i don't know it's it's quite small it doesn't look like it really goes with anything else but uh this is the lower income these are going to be the folks uh the working class here uh starting off uh, hoping that they get good jobs and get promotions and uh become our middle class working middle class but yeah they're moving in for sure with the quickness and let's turn our ui back on and see what's in demand i'm sure something will be uh there is a small demand now for some things ah here we go the complaining has started all right so let's pause here we pause and we need to give them a power plant yes explain about the electricity and the power we get it they need it we have uh, a coal power plant that's only going to cost us nineteen thousand dollars which is a worthy investment i think all right where are we going to put that i know matter of fact let's let's do some more road construction here because let's go back to our roads Because I want, let's see, this looks like a nice place for this road right here. And uh, actually, I want to play around with, I want to play around with the freeform road, freeform right here. All right, so now we're gonna have a freeform road, and we'll 
have it uh, come in here and kind of maybe which way? We want it to turn this way maybe maybe turn that way uh, let's see I probably don't want it to go all the way over there I think I do want it to wrap not that much but do want it to maybe like that sort of wrap around and I'm just gonna smooth it out here and maybe just connect it right with this road right there all right so there's that. So that's gonna be our industrial zone right there. And we'll do some more things with that later. But for right now, it has provided us a place to put the power plant. So let's go back. We've got our power plant now, coal power plant. And where do we wanna put it? Got this, where's that big boulder? That big boulder right there. So let's put the coal power plant right here. And what you wanna look at is the area of which it affects. So actually if we put it right here, it's gonna affect the buildings right over in this general area. So we might do that. That way we won't have to basically put any power lines in that area that it's covering. All right, so that's that. We wanna click out of that so we don't accidentally drop another one because we're running kind of low on the funds 23,814 and we best de definitely got uh currently have 143 dollars going out the door with uh no return 187 residents and we're gonna need to provide them with places to go to work uh, but first we need to provide them with power and that's coming here so Let's get that going. So with the power on this game, you just need to start a connection somewhere inside the blue zone. And then all you need to do is take, let's see, we're gonna, gonna take this right here in the middle. Right here in the middle. And we're gonna take it right alongside these residences. We don't really want to cut anybody off here so right about there would be a good place and so I think what that's gonna do is energize this area I think that's what's happening here okay we're gonna need to unpause and check it out all right congratulations the city's first power plant has been constructed now let's see what happens do I need to actually take the nope here we go We've got power and folks are, folks do not have a problem with the power now. Okay, let's pause again because the next thing, can we pause? All right, next thing that they're gonna ask for is the water. So let's uh, go out here. And now we're gonna need a water pump. Now the water and sewage is a tricky thing because uh, you want to make sure that you place the water uh, upstream and you place the sewage downstream. You don't want your water being contaminated. And that's what it's basically telling you here in this uh, read there. So let's grab a water pumping station. Only 2500 for that. decided to mow the lawn in the background folks we're just gonna have to deal with that um okay so there's this let's put this right here doesn't matter where exactly and it's gonna need power uh, but let's let's uh did I put it there yeah put it there okay and let's go ahead and get the water pipes now the water pipes work similar to the um to the electricity you can just place them make sure you have a connection here 
place it right there and we're gonna take the water pipes and as you can see there's a there's an area here this area is everywhere that water will be provided and this is running underground so you don't really have to worry too much about uh, anything with that I just normally run it so that it uh, covers oops wrong button so that it covers what we need it to cover and so that I can uh, be very very and it may just follow this same path <clears throat> I basically just want to make sure that let's see let's take it to this main road right here that will cover that take it to the main road and the cost on these things can get up there so you want to make sure that you do a good job at putting down something that makes sense so we're gonna gonna bring this water pipe right through here that's gonna provide water for all of those guys and then we're gonna come this way make sure that everybody has water even though there's no one actually at these particular areas right now just connect that all right so now all we need to do is provide water for the in-between which uh, it's probably gonna take let's see how it's the best we could do with that there you go right there and so the good thing this is going to be on the ground nobody can ever will need to see this it's, it's kind of kind of ratchet all right all right so let's unpause now let's see oh we we also need to provide uh electricity all right and let's go grab our electricity again Okay, is our water pumping station over there. You see, it doesn't quite doesn't quite meet uh, the area of coverage that we had, but let's just connect them now, and that should be good enough, I think. All right, I think that will work, and now let's unpause it and let's see what happens. Okay, we have water pumping now. And it has electricity. So here pretty soon, the folks should not, they should not be worried about water anymore. As that goes away though, pretty quickly, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to see a yet another problem pop up, which is gonna be sewage. Let's just give it time. Sewage is gonna be a problem here. Yep, there it is, sewage. All right, so let's pause again. And now we're gonna go here to our, uh, our uh, back to the water and sewage and this time we're going to get a water drain sewage sewage drain and where do we want to put that folks I'm gonna put it next to the shoreline but we're gonna put this further downstream close to the outside of the map yes and this will be close enough now all we got to do is get our water pipes And we're going to make a connection. And let's go now all the way. And we're just going to tie into one of these. And it's okay to do that. You see, that's why it has two lines. You got your water going in one, and you have your sewage going in another. So let's go ahead and make this connect. Oops. Dang it. I hit the wrong button again. All right. I'm going to do it in reverse this time. There we go. Tie it in right there, pressing the right button this time. And now, that should not be a problem anymore. We'll see when we unpause it. So, so that's what we have going on. Now before they get to, I know there's gonna be a demand for commercial coming up here. So before we unpause it and just let the thing go, let's, uh, 
go to our map and I told you that we had an area for commercial preserve and I was going to call it our little town center right here that's it that's that uh, this we may keep this because you know they typically don't need a lot of retail starting out uh, maybe on this side or something like that but we don't know really what we're going to do with that area yet so let's just keep our town center here and see if that's going to be good enough just a small area because it's typically not a lot that's required let's uh and we don't have a lot of money either so we're going to have to make some money which means we need to give folks a place to work and uh i think that this area here is a pretty good place for that but actually well yeah let's just put that down there and i think later we'll expand this area uh no we don't want it we don't want it to be that much now i don't know how to do it now let's see pressing y yes okay so we could either fill uh which is what we're doing now or we can select a large area or a medium area so i want to just select a large area and do it like that and that's going to kind of just everything that can be in that zone is going to make it that there we go that's good enough all right what else how about all this right here places to work and so that is why I have this road here that leads back out and so this will be the places to work for everyone and the folks in the city especially over here all right so that works for right now it's uh not very pretty as far as the zoning looks but it doesn't really need to be when you think about it because that's just how it's going to go all right so we're going to come to the end of this episode here pretty soon and maybe in the next couple of minutes let's just make sure everything is flowing nice and good and see all right come on guys okay All right, so we got some houses, we've got some small houses, we've got some bigger houses, and uh, let's see, we've got a bigger demand for commercial now. So let's just go ahead and give them more commercial. Definitely don't want to paint that whole thing. Let's go back to what we were doing before with the fill. We're just gonna fill an area. All right, so I guess this will be kind of our commercial there and does that make does that make the demand go down any or do we need to drop some more we could put some right in here we don't mind that yeah, let's just go ahead and do that all right so we do have some commercial coming out and do they have power over here is the question whoa we're we're in the hole now so we need something to happen looks like the numbers going down slightly so let's just just kind of chill here and see what happens because we need to start making money we don't want to get you want to you don't want to get don't want to get in a bad spot right, now it's dark oh they don't have water over here huh all right uh let's just wait on that Let's just wait on that. And it's dark. Can you guys still see? All right, a blackout again. I can't even email or anything. What do you mean a blackout? Does someone not have power? Is there a problem? These folks here are always complaining. Okay, what's the problem, guys? Is there a problem? I don't see anything about a blackout. I think it would have told me, right? I need to let's see. Mm. 
should have power. Okay, well, these folks don't, but I mean, what we'll do is, how much does this cost? How much is this gonna cost me? Let's just give them a little more power. Although I think we can make it without. Let's just watch closely how much money we're spending here. I'll just run that right through there. Hopefully that's enough to make an effect on the residents that are in that area. And we're just gonna, our number is getting smaller there. We are gaining folks every day, you can see. And uh, they need water over here. That looks like that might be a major issue. But we're running, we're running out of money also. So we don't want episode one to be a disaster. We are going to give them water pumps because I feel that is necessary. And uh, we're gonna have to do it anyway. So, which way should we come from? Should we come from here? Just go through right here. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work for those guys. And we'll just keep it like that. That should help them out. All right, shouldn't have a problem with water anymore. Oh, there's a power problem over there. Do we actually need to... I thought... What's the power problem over here? I thought that we connected... There's always something going on here, guys. I thought that we connected to the power. Did we not? Oh, well then... There's the problem. And... Maybe a bigger problem if... Alright, yeah, they're gonna need power. So how much, though... Is that space already occupied? I can't believe that we let that happen, though. Uh, for some reason... Why is it saying space already occupied? What do they mean? Let's see, if I take it from here and go this way, and that's that's a lot of our money right there. Uh are folks moving out? Can we wait on this? Let's Here's, here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to wait until they're going to have a problem. Ooh, everybody's got a problem with it. All right, well, okay. Well, I guess I guess we do need... Let's just pause here, first of all. And I guess that we do need to provide now uh, power. I don't know how it was functioning before, but I guess we need to provide power to this uh, water sewage area here. And that's what I get for putting it way down here. But the game advised me to put it downstream. That's what I did. All right, we'll drop this right in here. This should work. $3,000, that's going to leave us dangerously close to bankrupt. Hopefully, we'll be okay. We just need to sit back now, unpause, and let everyone oh, get off of this and let's see so are we getting power now the sewage problem has it been solved yes 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 it's been solved okay all right ah yes and perfect music for what we just went through what's this what are they saying they need workers all right i think we need to What's that, this tool right here, to go through and see what folks are talking about. Let's see this building, for instance. Not enough workers. How is it not enough workers? Oh, a little hamlet. So look, guys, we've reached a population of 440. We can now do uh, use new features, taxes, loans, new services, garbage, healthcare, education, new build-up. How do I? 
new buildings, landfill site, snow dump, medical clinic, elementary school, okay? So, so, all right, so we got somewhere and we did not bankrupt our city. Uh, it's probably about time for me to go into my appointment right now, but uh, appreciate you guys for checking out this new video, a new, uh, I don't want to call it a series yet, but let me know what you guys think about City Skyline. Like I said, we're playing for the Nintendo Switch and the Switch Lite here. It's a really cool device, wouldn't you say? Well, this has been Builder with Smith here. You guys leave a comment let me know what you think let's close it out with just some uh, shots of our city as we are starting to grow Ooh, look at the moon look at that It's nighttime. I think that is turning out pretty well. And you can really zoom in on this game, can't you guys? Oh, yeah. You can really zoom in and really see what's going on in this icy city. All right, so we got some folks working night shift and they're coming home to their families. Maybe they don't have any families. Maybe they're just going home to an empty bed, empty house. But uh, maybe they have pets. Anyway, so it's not, it's not like a high, it's just, it's just a humble little hamlet right now. And folks are here making a way, making a life, uh, moving here. We've got, like I said, the town square. It seems to be popping. A couple of uh, bars still open tonight. You guys can go in and get yourself some drinks water if you want cup of ice whatever sun is over there this is such a beautiful game guys i will say it again such a beautiful game but hey we're closing out now hopefully you guys will be back for the next installment of whatever this is going to be see you guys later build it with smith out peace